People often ask, why is the Anglican Church so quiet? They may be coming from a background of a church that is very exuberant and noisy and, and loud. I saw a church just the other day that had earplugs on the wall for its members just so they could attend worship. It's a very different paradigm from what the Anglican Church is doing. We build in silence because we believe that often in the silence of our hearts and our minds, the Spirit of God will speak to us. And so we want to create room for that within the liturgy. And it's a natural part of our liturgical life. When you first come into an Anglican church, before the service even starts, we're not joking and laughing and talking and carrying on. It's a time of reflection, of quiet, and of prayer, usually with just light, light music being played by the organ or the piano or by somebody to sort of facilitate that time of calm and that time of prayer. And people often talk about how different that experience is of even entering into worship with us. And so we find that to be very helpful. There's also a time of, of silence at the confession. We do a corporate confession where we as a congregation express that we have sinned against God in thought, word, and deed. And before we start that, we give a few moments of silence for us to consider in our own hearts silently where we may have fallen short in our life or disobeyed our Lord. And then after communion, there is time of quiet contemplation. Having received the body and blood of Christ, we contemplate on our lives and what that means and, and how we are going to go forth to live and serve our God. And so throughout the service, there are these moments of quiet and silence built in to give us time to listen for the voice of God. So I hope that as you dive deeper into the Anglican Church and attend more worship services, you'll come to appreciate the worship service and the silence that is built into it. And that you will be able to hear in those moments, not only in word and sacrament, but in the silence that you will hear the voice of your God.